this is the secreted tgf beta precursor although monomeric form of tgf beta precursor is shown in this video the secreted tgf beta precursor is dimeric inside the cell the secreted tgf beta precursor has a pro domain the pro domain is often called as lap or latency associated peptide the pro domain consists of 50 to 375 amino acids the secreted tgf beta precursor has a mature tgf beta monomer the mature tgf beta monomer consists of 110 to 140 amino acids soon after its secretion the secreted tgf beta precursor undergoes proteolytic cleavage and also undergoes binding by ltbp or latent tgf beta binding protein to produce a latent complex in the latent complex the mature tgf beta remain non covalently bound this non covalent binding is possible due to specific interactions between lskl amino acid sequences in the pro domain and rkpk amino acid sequences in the mature tgf beta monomer the mature monomeric tgf beta consists of six cysteine amino acids these amino acids are evolutionarily conserved these six cysteine amino acids form three intrachain disulfide bonds the latent complex is stored in the intracellular matrix now extracellular matrix protein called as thrombospondin 1 or tsp1 binds to the lskl amino acid sequence in the pro domain or lap or serum proteases or metalloproteases present in the matrix cause proteolysis of binding proteins like ltbp and lap in the latent complex as a result mature homo or heterodimeric tgf beta is released this mature homo or heterodimeric tgf beta is active in nature one disulfide bond connects two tgf beta monomers please like subscribe and share